Bishop, um, you've just arrived in um, Juba at this hour. Uh, how has the journey been? When did you start and how long has it taken you from Rumbek? It has been a beautiful experience of communion among the youth that were participating to the walk, but also with the communities that we encounter from Rumbek to Juba. We left on uh, January 25th, that was also the day of prayer for Christian unity. We pray at the cathedral together with the archbishops of the other churches, Anglican and Episcopal. We received the blessing of all the community as we were not walking by our own, but we were walking on behalf of all the Christians and the people of the Diocese of Rumbek, and I would say also of the country. So we walked every day about 25 kilometers, uh, we had time in the morning to walk, in the afternoon to animate the community, to listen to them, to pray, to present a, a peace drama. Uh, it has been really a, an experience of bonding with each other that I think can be an example for all the, the country and the communities. How many people were on the journey? We took a nine days walk and the people that participated, actually we are 60 youth and 24 supporting staff, 84 in all, but I think I, all people are participating in the pilgrimage, also the people we met in the villages, in the parishes. Some they came to welcome us and they took us ahead. So I think there are hundreds, hundreds, if not thousands people that anyway, in a way or another, participated to the pilgrimage. And also, I think this welcoming in Juba can show that, how much this initiative inspired the country and it will also show us the way to continue. And what was the mood of the pilgrims along the way as you started in Rumbek on the 25th, the conversion of St. Paul, concluded the year of Christianity? How has the mood been? I think youth showed a lot of energy. They have a lot of positive hopes and desires. I think it is just to give a spark to this positivity of the youth, to give a, a, a new a hope to the country, open a new chapter, uh, of, of, of peace and reconciliation. And as you moved along the way from Rumbek, you met uh, communities, Christians along the way, ordinary people. How did they receive you? Oh, people, they have been really overjoyful to see youth from different parishes and, uh, uh, and areas of Lake State and Warap together. Uh, and walking together and so they were very supportive. Let us keep into account that in the group there are also people from Bulu, for instance, the Lake community. There are also Congo people and that often they are not remembered but they are part of the diocese. And also because of the Loreto school and the La Salle school where we have students from other parts of the country, we have representatives of many communities of South Sudan. And really, we have been walking together and people were overjoyful to see 